surprising actually because even though it had the double bed it had the mezzanine too so it fits more than two people okay hi again from Budapest again uh, I probably won't come here for a while after this because I've been here nearly nearly every month I think but it's uh, it's got a bit warmer now and uh, I've got a cool little place to show you today because it's the tiniest apartment in Budapest so last month we had the tiniest apartment in Warsaw this month we're gonna have the tiniest apartment in Budapest and uh, it's very central just near the Calvin term metro station so let's make our way there and I'll give you a little quick tour inside the uh, the horses give me very detailed specific instructions on how to get inside so that's good sometimes horses forget to do that so it shouldn't be any problems going in there uh, it's literally just around this corner so let's get inside just about to go and unlock the keypad but then I noticed this very energetic dance class going on right outside the apartment building if anybody can explain what kind of dance that is then comment in the doopity doop okay here we go let's hope this works right should be at the end of this uh, balcony, this terrace. Should be a lockbox. There it is. Okay, so in the apartment now, it's uh, it's slightly bigger than I imagined. It's supposed to be 20 meters squared. It feels slightly bigger, but I don't know. I could be mistaken. I think it, maybe it's an illusion because of the high ceiling, but uh, as you can see behind me, it's got a, a lot of little uh, kind of trinkets little glasses on the shelves and stuff and little different things that look like the owner might have got them as souvenirs when she's been traveling maybe there's like a an old radio there which is kind of cool and a very very large champagne bottle uh bed is here and a little bar over there i guess you could use that as a, a table as well your little office but yeah, cool, cool little place. It's got the mezzanine up here as well, which I'm not sure if I remember seeing that on the pictures, but there you go. Uh, it's up there. You can't really see. I'd have to get the ladders down and take you up. I'll, I'll give you a, another tour in the morning where you can see it better with the daylight. But there's the bathroom behind me as well. That's more spacious than I imagined too. So yeah, great place by the looks of it. Uh, I'm going to go out and get something to eat now because I've not eaten for about seven hours. I'm really hungry. Uh, so I'm going to call it a night and I'll get back to you guys tomorrow after I've had a sleep here and see you guys in the morning, I guess. Yeah. All right. Good morning. I, uh, I do love it when I stay in an apartment like this because it's so quiet. There's no, like, you can't hear a thing. And it's just nice to know that there's not going to be any, like, dodgy, weird noises waking you up early in the morning or through the night and stuff. It's just pure peace. All right, so I'm going to get up, give you a little bit more of a, a detailed, thorough uh, tour of the place. And then I'm going to get out into that Budapest sunshine. Always sunny in Budapest.
Okay, so there you go guys, another option for you in Budapest if you're coming to the city and looking for a place to stay. Obviously if you like the whole tiny living movement then it's probably the best option for you. Uh, it was kind of surprising actually because even though it had the double bed it had the mezzanine too so it fits more than two people. Okay, that's about it for this one. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one hopefully and if you like tiny living spaces then give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more Airbnb apartments, especially the, the small tiny ones, then subscribe and uh, yeah, hopefully see you next time. Ciao! Thank you.